Hey everybody, how are we doing? I hope you're all doing all right and you're getting on the water lots at the moment. I'm just gonna do a little video, something slightly different. Basically, it's more of an update on where we're at right now in this marketplace about adjustable paddles. We've probably all had a go on adjustable paddle in the past, or maybe we've still got one now, maybe we just got into paddle boarding and it comes with an adjustable paddle in the package. There is a big difference in an adjustable paddle to get you on the water your first time cruising down a river to a performance adjustable paddle. Now, from our point of view, from my point of view personally as well, I've sort of been converted in the last year heavily more into adjustable paddles. I'm gonna talk you through that why that is now. Adjustable paddles used to be all very much like this here. This is a glass two-piece from Red. Has a double push pin system here. Slide it out, click it on. Doesn't twist, where you go, like that. Right, great little paddle, get you on the water, relatively light, but actually it's pretty heavy. Bit of bend to it, because it's a glass. And then generally the push pin system wasn't done so much with carbon-based paddles, because it weakened the paddle shaft quite a bit. So the push pin system was generally done more with glass and aluminium paddles that you'd find. Seemed to work all right, bit of a fiddle sometimes, quite hard to push that out um, with aluminium because this was a stainless pin. Aluminium and stainless used to basically react to each other. So if you left the pin in there for like a year, you probably wouldn't get out again. So it was a bit of a downside. They worked all right, but they weren't great. So they're still on the market today. A lot of brands do this, still the pin push lock system. But then we've all moved away more to the sort of twist lock system now, which is where we have like a a lever which pulls out, pull the paddle out, lock it back. Again, sort of paddle worked, it was all right. Happy to sort of cruise down a river and do that sort of stuff. Didn't really want to take any sort of a clipment, clip paddle into sort of uh, a wave environment or race environment, even any brand, it doesn't matter what brand it is, a clip paddle has got a point where it's gonna to have to be tightened up so much to keep the paddle from twisting that you're either gonna do the thread on the nut or you're gonna put the nut is in like a, a plastic sleeving and that's gonna spin. It just will, there'll be a point where it will break down. Not for general paddling and cruising down a river and family fun. I'm talking about a bit more performance, putting your welly in, racing, surfing, downwinders, that sort of thing. So before in the past, I mean there's another one there from Red, um, and then there's a starboard one. I think they call it a tiki lock. This one here, another nice, great little panel. It's like the same sort of thing. Lever slides up and down, pull it across, locks in. Worked okay for general paddling, but didn't really have that extra performance. And would I give up my fixed paddle for one of those? Not a chance in hell. There's no way I would do any sort of real grunt performance paddling with one of those over one of these. But to be honest, that has now changed completely. Thick paddles are great, don't get us wrong, but they're fixed, they're light, they're tailored for you. If you've got a really short one like this, which is my surf up paddle, it's like that, it's absolutely useless for flat walk cruising and racing. I don't wanna go paddling like that, I'll have a broken back in about 20 seconds. So this is where we've started using at Supboard up more adjustable paddles because we're using lots of different boards, lots of different thicknesses, different style types, different riding positions. So we have to use, and we generally do use, more adjustable paddles. So over the last year, we have found two very good adjustable systems that are available in a few different brands that are complete no-brainers and fantastic if you wanna get yourself a good adjustable paddle for performance paddling. The lever lock from Kailua. Now this lever cam sort of system is available on a few different brands now. They've sort of released the rights, so I think Red have got it now and a few other little brands have got this same lever system. This system does not twist and it allows you to have a high level of performance. It allows the paddle to be nice and light because the carbon in the top end is not any thicker or different to the carbon in a normal fixed shaft and it completely locks down. The way it works, just so if you don't know, there's a big rubber grommet in here and there's a bit of stainless wire that goes from the bottom of there all the way up to a handle and then when you push down on the handle it pulls the rubber grommet together making it expand. It has actually expanded, you can't see, it's only a tiny bit and it expands inside the shaft 
of the bottom of the section and it does not twist. It doesn't take in water, doesn't add much weight, fantastic system, really great. So the next type of top end system we've got to look at is on this Nash Alana here. This paddle we've only got a couple weeks ago, I've been paddling with it a few times and to be honest, I'm absolutely converted to this style of system. This style of system is available in a few different brands, but we haven't used them all. This system is a bit of a combination of the old style system, which is where you just have a, a lock which comes across and you do up, but there's a groove in the top end of the paddle shaft. So it slides up and down and you lock it back. This is an unbelievably simple fantastic system that does not twist and the best thing about this system you can be out surfing and playing around with paddle heights which is a really good time to do it you haven't even got a look you can just feel a lock and go paddling there's no twisting with the lever lock the cam lock sort of system here you've got to make sure you line up the arrows with the lines which is doable but i'm incredibly lazy and i don't even want to look at it and feel the sort of paddle straight so you've got to sort of line it up this one is a straight, undo it, slide it in, find the height you want, sh 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 sh, lock it back, done, completely. Does not move, does not take in water. An amazing difference from the old school. I'm gonna say old school, even though they still make them the more sort of intermediate beginner based adjustable paddles. When we, now we've started paddling this one, especially because this is quite a nice, even though it's a girl's one, I love this paddle especially the color. Uh, this one, the cam lock on these is great, but I'm a little bit lazy as I said. But with the grooves in this one, and the weight of this, this is only about five and a half, I think it's 546 grams or something, doesn't weigh anything. So at this point in time, what I'm trying to say is, don't just get a fixed paddle. If you've got a few different boards, if you are a cruising, you've got a fatter six inch thick board and you want to cruise down the river or do a bit of racing, and you want to go and dabble in the surf four or five, 20 times a year, get yourself a good adjustable paddle. Instead of putting 300 pounds, 200, 450 bucks onto a, a fixed carbon, get yourself a really good adjustable. The downside I know is there are more money, okay? You're gonna have to spend more money, but there's a little bit more in it. There's a bit more technology, a bit more engineering, a bit more molding for them. So the money does go into somewhere, the way I can see it. But to be honest, the paddle's absolutely outstanding. They've come on such a long way from the old school adjustable paddles. So yes, I'm still gonna be paddling with the fixed paddle and you'll probably see it in a few reviews and videos, but to be honest, as soon as that paddle dies and it is no longer paddleable, I will be investing in my own adjustable, non-purple version of this one. It definitely, it's an absolute winner think outside the box, look towards adjustable paddles instead of putting hard money on fixed paddles. That is my tip for next year, look at adjustables.